Hey to the hey hey, I'm back. Last time I saw y'all, I said that I was gonna hopefully give you a nicer backdrop. Unfortunately, it hasn't happened. Um, hmm, who knows when that will happen? Just don't hold your breath on it. I know, I, I offered the nicer backdrop and then I reneged on it, so, I mean, I don't know, send me a letter. I'm lonely. I'd like to read something anyways. So, I'm back already, which is fast for me. But as I said, I do have a lot of free time now. Thank the Lord. So thankful for free time. Um, what I came to speak about is an HBO show. I don't know if y'all seen it. It's called Here. I think it's called Here and Now. Let me actually look at my trusty notes. Um, that show really irks me. It irks me in the very same way that The Leftovers irked me. Y'all remember that show years ago when it first began? It lost me like the second, the first episode, I was like, I'm not watching this mess again. Second episode, I was like, okay, I'm going to give it to three episodes for it to pick up and really catch me. And it never happened. How many seasons did we get for that? I think maybe two, no, maybe like three, four seasons. I'm not sure how many. But like a silly person, I watched it all the way to the very end because I'm thinking like the people that just disappeared is going to come back or something's going to happen. Something worthwhile is going to happen. And at the end of all of this, I'm going to be like, dang, that's what it was. And you know what? No. No. Wasted all that time watching that show and nothing. Nothing. Anyways, so moving along. Yes, the show is called Here and Now. And it's very reminiscent of The Leftovers. Because you watch this show and... I mean, it, it's kind of cohesive. Some things come together for you. Um... The Colombian Adopted Bro. First of all, okay. So those of you that haven't watched it, it's an HBO show. And it's about brothers and sisters. The main thing, from what I feel, is about brothers and sisters. Um, these uh, two Caucasian people adopted a kid from Vietnam, adopted a girl from Africa. I can't remember where they said she was from. Um, the actual country in Africa, but and then they adopted a boy from I believe maybe Colombia a boy from South America or something and Then at the end they actually had their own biological child together So that girl she's a teenager which her character. I seriously cannot get with it's just it's not even like a teen awkward sort of character it's something about her i think like really about her look maybe her acting skills i'm really not feeling her at all they can seriously just cut her like next season something happens and she's cut that's what i'm feeling but so far you know they all like kind of have their issues um of course all of them being raised by caucasian american parents um, you know, they dealt with race issues in different ways growing up. And there's this really deep race theme, um, and I guess maybe like ethnicity sort of thing that's all woven into this thing. And I understand it, and I guess it's good for shows to actually uh, touch on these topics. But for some reason, I feel like the black girl gets it, like, a lot. Like, the Vietnamese boy, is seeing, or guy, it seems like he catches jokes from, like, his friends and family. But it's like the black woman, she catches jokes from strangers, you know, from, I guess, it's just, like, from every angle, it seems like she always runs into a racial issue. And at first, it kind of got on my nerves, and I'm like, why are they so pressed to continue to make it seem like this black woman... Or like the black person of the family is running into all these race issues. But like what about the Asian man? Like things like that. But to be honest, the more I thought about that is that's because that's how it is seriously. A life in America. 
honestly, that's just the way it is as a black woman. I wouldn't say daily, but often, more often than not, you're going to feel some sense of a racial divide. It's not something that's kind of like, uh, you know, kind of like a little, you know, just ripple. It's, it's something that's like Main Street, Main, Front Street, Main is out there. Like, me, myself. It's, but it's kind of like you live through life. It's like we all adapt. Everyone adapts to their environment, their situation, whatever the case may be. So we all adapt, but I can't say even, you know, just me, myself. Daily going out, I can sense a person's mood. You know what I mean? And usually I sense this because the color of my skin. Like, I haven't done anything or said anything. And no, don't say, oh, it's because of my appearance. No, I don't wear colored wigs all the time. I don't wear, you know, my hair dyed the green. I don't always go out the house looking like that. I go out the house looking how I feel is presentable. You know, I'm clean. It doesn't matter what my style of dress may be. I present myself well. So... It's like when I run into a white person and like as soon as they see me, they roll their eyes and like they're, you know, they stick their nose up. It's kind of like, what? You know what I'm saying? But so anyways, to get back to it, it annoyed me. It super annoyed me that they were always making it seem like this black woman couldn't catch a break. Like every single move she made, it was like something about her race. But to be honest, they're just being real. They're so... I mean, I can't fault them for that. I can't fault them for that. They're being real about it. And hopefully some people, if you're actually going to be a viewer of this show, and if you are a racist, if you do have preconceived notions about people with dark skin, I mean, get over it. Get over yourself. And hopefully this show will help you do that. So that would be great. But as for me with this show, I'm a glutton for punishment because I'm probably going to watch season two. Um, because pretty much how I was with Leftovers, or The Leftovers, whatever that show was called, I kind of want to see what's going to happen. Um, they got to the point, you know, the the adopted son that was from South America. He uh, was seeing things. He's like, it's, it's weird. It's weird. He was kind of like seeing things and then at the very last episode, then we finally see like, I guess like his, what he was seeing, the mental breakdown that everybody thought he was having, it finally kind of culminates. And we see, um, like, a huge event in the end. Um, so it's a cliff, a very good cliffhanger, especially for people that were on, like, the fence about if they're feeling this show. Because now, every of course, everyone wants to know next season, like, where does it pick up from? Like, okay, this huge event happened. Now what? Like, what's going to come next? So... That's kind of cool. Um, what I will say, I watched, because I watched it on HBO uh, Go, uh, like I've caught up on it. And what I can say is that at the very end, I think it's like the creators of the show or whatever. So after the very, after the season finale, they sat down and they talked. And they kind of said that this was a show pretty much like how The Leftovers was. Like it's a show that's going to kind of like... It's going to give you kind of issues, but it's never really going to give you answers. So, uh, I don't know, not feeling that too much. I don't know, I got enough anxiety on my own. I don't need this. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at my little bit of notes. Basically, that's, I don't know, I just feel really strong along, like, the entire season. I feel really strong along. The little sister's acting is, like, really weird. And I understand, I guess, like, the character they're trying to give her is kind of like a... I understand the teenage character that she's been given, but I honestly just don't think she's the right person for that role. 
I I don't know who could play that role well, but for some reason, I'm just not feeling her in that role. I'm not a casting director, so thank God for that because, you know, baby girl, you got your job. You don't need to worry about it. But, um, hmm, that's really about it. I think that's the end of my notes on that. End of my notes on that one. Has anyone watched that show? Like, when the season was actually current and, you know, the episodes were coming on weekly, I always skipped it. It just seemed like something that was just dry as hell from the jump. But lately, since I had so much time on my hands, I ran out of things to watch on television. So I was kind of like, all right, I'll give this a try. And it really kind of irked me, but whatevs. There's worse your things. Also, I've been working more on this freaking wig. I mean... Well, anyways, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for listening to my rant. Um, you know, a thanks is always in order. Catch you guys next time.